interesting news on loot boxes, and I kind of wanted to just talk about it since it kind of directly affects Blade and Soul. Uh, just considering they're very heavy on loot boxes, and a lot of actually games that have the RNG boxes in their uh, systems, like uh, Overwatch, Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, just a bunch of games that have them. So, interesting topic came up on uh, MMORPG.com. Uh, it's a website that I always look at a lot. I don't know if you guys check it out. Uh, one of my favorite websites, actually. So one of the things that they kind of discuss is that uh, the Belgium minister wants an EU ban on loot boxes. And one of the reasons is that they're saying that loot boxes kind of target young children who play video games and kind of like uh, kind of like target their gambling addiction. And it actually can be like a disease. So a lot of people in real life uh, have like gambling addictions. So they'll go to like a casino and they'll end up, you know, blowing the whole life savings on freaking gambling because they have an addiction and they can't stop gambling. And uh, a lot of things that a lot of people have been saying recently is kind of like loot boxing. Uh, having loot boxes in video games is almost the same thing, but it's inside a video game. And a lot of people have actually been saying it's worse because they're targeting, you know, obviously young children. So they're spending a large, a lot, a large amount of money on these loot boxes. Um, so that's kind of the topic right now. Uh, it's pretty crazy though, because they're actually trying to get a ban for Europe to not have loot boxes. So I don't know if that means they're going to ban the games or the games are going to have to take out them so like overwatch for example won't be able to have loot boxes if this ruling actually is you know uh implemented so obviously it's not final yet but this is something they're pursuing so uh pretty crazy to think about uh the argument that a lot of people say is it's not gambling because uh from loot boxes you actually can get items so it may not be the item that you want but there's always a chance you can get something from the loot boxes so if I buy this plentiful harvest crate and I'm really trying to get uh, seal sacred oil or something and I don't get it, uh, someone will argue that, hey, well, you still got something from it, so it's not really a waste of money. You just didn't get what you wanted from it. But it's pretty interesting to think about because games like Blade and Soul, uh, they rely heavily on making a lot of money off the RNG bosses. Uh, Treasure Trove is a uh, where they make almost all their money. And plentiful harvest crate are making a lot of money for them, so... Kind of interesting to think that maybe in the future that they might have to take these out because it's against the law. So just kind of a weird topic and I wanted to see what you guys thought about it. Uh, do you think loot boxes are kind of bad for games and you think they should remove it? Or do you think it's kind of like, uh, you know, you're not forced to buy them so maybe uh, it's just your own personal problem if you do buy them and spend all your money on them. So I wanted to think about what you guys thought about it and uh, let me know in the comments.